Hello, John here, washing my balls. Speaking of balls, why do people equate testicle size with bravery? People say things like, man, it took a lot of balls to do that. That was a really ballsy move. Did you see what that guy did? He must have a big set of balls on him. Why do people say stuff like that? Testicle size has nothing to do with bravery. Testicles have nothing to do with bravery at all. Big balls. Why do we equate bravery with big balls? Big balls. Why do we equate bravery with big balls? When someone does something brave, why do we say that took a lot of balls? When someone is courageous, why do we say they are ballsy? A pair of sweaty testicles may be savory. But testicles have nothing to do with bravery. If you don't have a big set of balls, don't let that discourage. Testicles have nothing at all to do with courage. Some very courageous people have testicles that are small. Some of the bravest people have no testicles at all. Big balls. Why do we equate bravery with big balls? Big balls. Why do we equate bravery with big balls? Don't say get some balls or grow a pair. It doesn't matter what's inside of your underwear. Everybody can be courageous and tough. No more sexism, enough is enough. If you don't have a big set of balls, don't let that discourage. Testicles have nothing at all to do with courage. Some very courageous people have testicles that are small. Some of the bravest people have no testicles at all. Let's say you are courageous and risk your life. To save the life of an animal But in the process of saving that animal's life You lose a testicle Would losing half your balls make you half as brave? Of course not Testicles have nothing to do with bravery Testicles have nothing to do with bravery. If you don't have a big set of balls, don't let that discourage. Testicles have nothing at all to do with courage. Some of the bravest people have no testicles at all. Testicles at